Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we're looking at some more physics math, specifically three uh, very useful trig functions called sine, cosine, and tangent. And so I've got the title SOHCAHTOA, and that's a very uh, useful thing to help you remember uh, what sine, cosine, and tangent do and, and how they might be used. So why would you want to use this? Well, in physics, this is going to help us quite a bit. And, you know, even if you've seen this stuff before, this is going to be pretty good information for you. If you know one side of the right triangle and one of the angles inside, one of the angles other than the right angle. So here's the right angle right there. Uh, and, and you want to know the other sides of the triangle. So you only know one side and one angle. So, for example, this angle. Now, you might also know that angle, too. But, you know, let's say you know this angle and one of the sides. And you want to know the other sides. Then the trig functions can be very useful for you. Also, if you know two of the sides, any two of the sides, doesn't matter which two, and you want to know one of the angles other than the right angle, so again, here's your right angle, and you want to know the other angle, there or there, then this these functions can also be useful to you. So let's talk about the right triangle for a second. Obviously, this is your right angle right here, the 90 degree angle. And when we're talking about this, uh, we define one of the other angles as the angle that we're talking about. And so let's say we're talking about this angle here. We've got a labeled theta. Well, in a right triangle, there's this side that's called the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always going to be opposite of the right angle. So kind of go across from the right angle, and there's your hypotenuse, and it's always opposite of the right angle. Now, when we define the angle we're talking about, angle theta here, there's a side that is adjacent to angle theta, and that's labeled A here for adjacent. And there's a side here that is opposite of angle theta, and so that's labeled O for opposite. But maybe that's not the angle that we want to discuss. Maybe the angle up here is the one we want. And so, let's switch a root. We'll check this out. Well, so the angle up here now, and the right angle has not changed. And since the right angle has not changed, the hypotenuse is still that side. But since we're talking about this angle theta, well, this side is now adjacent to it, not opposite. So we would call this A for adjacent, and we now would call this side opposite. So label it O. So it really depends on which angle on the inside of the triangle you're, you want to deal with. And that would determine which side is adjacent, which side is opposite, right? So now let's see this in action. So these three trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, there are other trigonometry functions, but we're not really worried about them right now. We've got the uh, triangle set up here, and we're going to deal with this angle right here. So label that angle theta. And the right angle is here. That should be easy to spot in a right triangle. So you can do that. And if angle theta is here, well then, the adjacent side is the side next to it. Oh, maybe I should define the hypotenuse first because I've got two sides next to this angle theta, don't I? So which one's the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is the one that's opposite of the right angle. So that is the hypotenuse. And so that means this side is the one that's left adjacent to the angle theta. So there's A, and then this side is the opposite, so O. Okay, so now these three sine, uh, sine, these three trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, what they do for us is set up ratios of, of the sides. So if we take the sine of the angle theta, and there's the angle theta, then that uh, sine of the angle is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. That's all this is. So these, you know, the angle is usually measured in degrees for us, and we take the sine of the angle. And that equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, so the ratio of those two sides of the triangle. The cosine function, so cosine of angle theta, is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So a ratio of those two sides. The tangent function, tangent of theta, is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, so equal, equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. So what does this allow us to do? Well, uh, let's say we know Uh, one side and one angle. So we know the adjacent side. Let's say we know A and angle theta. 
and we want the hypotenuse. which is h. So what can we do? All right, since we know uh, a and the angle, so we know those two things, and we want the hypotenuse, then we need a, one of these trig functions that relates the angle, the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse. So the angle is easy. It's in all three of them. The adjacent side, well, I see that's in cosine, and it's also in tangent, but the hypotenuse. It's only in cosine. So I, what I would do is use the cosine function, and it would go like this. So cosine of theta is equal to A over hypotenuse. And I want the hypotenuse. So I would have to do cosine angle equals A over hypotenuse, that ratio. And so I have to um, multiply both sides, H, to move it over here. Uh, here it cancels that, right? I'm just rearranging the equation. But then I also have to divide both sides by cosine theta. Make sure I'm going to be consistent with my colors here. Divide both sides by cosine theta. Uh, here, it cancels out on that side. What am I left that hasn't canceled out? So here I've got h all by itself, which is cool. And so here I've got a divided by cosine theta. No big deal. And since I know a and I know the angle theta, well, I could easily work this out on my calculator. It's, it's really slick. What if I knew two sides? Well, let's kind of look at that example. Uh, so if I know two sides, and let's say I know the opposite and the adjacent side. And I want, oh, well, let's say I want theta. All right. So I need a uh, trig function that uses opposite side, adjacent side, and angle theta. So the only one that uses both opposite and adjacent is the tangent function. So tangent of theta equals uh, opposite over adjacent side. Now this is an interesting thing. I, I just want the angle theta. So I, I'm basically going to undo the tangent function. And this will look a little strange, but it's actually going to be uh, very straightforward on your calculator. And I'll even show you how that works in just a second. So what I'm going to do is I have to take the inverse tangent of both sides. And that's basically going to look like this. Tangent one of theta. And you will almost never have to write this. It's real simple. And so I'm going to have. of opposite over adjacent. And so here, that cancels that. But it did not cancel out theta. And so what am I left with? Theta equals inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent. And so w when I get to this point, this looks a little strange. Like, you know, what do I do with this negative 1 exponent? Well, it's basically on your calculator. Uh, somewhere you've got the three tangent functions, I'm sorry, three tangent, three trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. And on this model, uh, just above the tangent button, I've got that inverse tangent. You see the tiny green letters right there. So I would have to do uh, second, or sometimes it's a shift button, and then hit that. And in this case, when I do that for zero degrees, well, I get the answer zero. But what if this... Uh, what if this triangle actually had some numbers? Uh, so, so what if we knew some values here? Well, uh, let's say we had uh, the opposite side was 3, the adjacent side was 4, and the hypotenuse was 5. Let's just say. Now, in this first example, where I wanted the hypotenuse, that means that uh, I would have a the adjacent side divided by cosine of theta. I don't, I don't know theta yet, though. Now, some of you guys in some advanced math classes might recognize this, and you automatically know what theta is. That's okay. Don't worry. But uh, could I figure out theta from this? Well, yeah, but it might be easier if I, if I figure out the angle theta here, because I've already got this set up, right? So opposite over adjacent, and then take the inverse tangent function. Opposite is 3. 
adjacent is 4. So 3 over 4, I would do on my calculator 3 over 4, which is divide. 3 divided by 4, 0 0.75. Okay, now I'm going to do the inverse tangent. So second tangent, and I get that. Okay, so that is the angle. That's what theta equals in this triangle. So, uh, if I were to plug that in here, let me see if that's going to work. So, I'm going to say, all right, 36 point, uh, 36 point 8, about 36.9 degrees. So, if I do adjacent, which is 4, divided by cosine of 36.9 degrees, so 4 divided by 36.9, and then cosine of that angle. So, before it equals cosine, and then equals get 5, you know, rounding it off, and so the hypotenuse is 5, so it, it matches, it works. All right, so why then this title that I used of Sokotoa, right? So sine, cosine, and tangent, because you want to remember these things fairly easily, fairly quickly, you want to get fast at this. So how does that phrase Sokotoa help you? Well, it goes like this. So would be the sine function. Because if you remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, S-O-H. And ka is cosine. If you, and so you remember that, and you remember that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And finally, toa is going to be tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Now I, I've shortened that, and sometimes what happens is students will end up writing, oh, so, so uh, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. And if you do that, actually, you made a mistake because you left something out right here. You left out theta, and you don't want to do that. You want to always remember that. So it's really sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, adjacent, sorry, adjacent. Uh, tangent of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. So don't ever forget theta in there. It's, it's part of the equation. It's actually really, really important. And so the correct way would for here for sine would be sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. That would be correct. All right. Thanks for watching. I will catch you next time.